Bill, welcome to the Digimedia Expo coverage here at NAB 2016. Thank you. You're with uh, Wacom or Wa Wacom? Wacom. Wacom. I always say that wrong. No, I hear all sorts of derivatives of our company name. That's funny. So um, let's jump right in and let's, uh, uh, many users, you know, now with iPads and tablets mm -hmm. all over, are wondering why should I buy a tablet that's specifically for drawing uh, versus just using my iPad? Well, one of the biggest reasons is, is because what software is available for the iPad? And there's a few drawing packages out there, but really if I get into stuff like Photoshop or right. Premiere or even After Effects, that's really going to be on a computer-based system. And you got, to be able to draw on it, that's what you're actually going to be using the pen for. That's where it comes into play. So video editing is excellent for being able to use for manipulation. If I'm going to take movies from my video bin and drop them into my timeline, I can use a pin to control that and do that very, very fast. So I'm not really set up for video right here, but that's what gives me that capability. Right, right. And these are pressure sensitive? Up to 2,048 levels of pressure. I see. So that's part of the thing that they're missing with a tablet. First of all, that it can't run, like uh, you're seeing the screen is from the computer there, yeah. basically. Well, we have basically we have several different types of technology. We have our normal tablets where I draw on the tablet surface and look at my computer screen. Right. So that's our normal Intuos Pro tablet line. We also have the Cintiq line, which is one of the things I'm holding right here. The Cintiq line allows me to draw directly on the screen itself. So I'm actually drawing right on the screen itself. I have pressure, so let me change the color to something a little bit different. So I press down lightly, I get it very, very thin. Or press down heavy, I get it really, really thick. So it allows me that pressure control. And that really comes into play with any sort of creative that I'm working with. It could be anything from Photoshop to, I'm in Sketchbook Pro. It could be even After Effects. It could be uh, Illustrator. It's, it's really any, any of the applications that I'd be normally doing pressure with, it's all built in right here. And what's the pricing that it starts at? Uh, well, the Intuos Pro line starts off at $249 for the small. Um, the, the most popular one is the Intuos Pro Medium, and that one's $349. The Cintiq line starts off with a 13-inch, which is this size right here, at about $800. And what are some of the specs that they need to look at when you're comparing tablets? What, what's important? Well, one of the things that we got going on is, is uh, for video editing specifically, you're going to have the capability of really being able to control a lot as far as your movement and controls. Obviously, <clears throat> the larger desk space I have, the more, obviously, easy it is to use. This is a 13-inch. We have hiding right back over here behind me, right here, a 27. So this is a 27 right here. And this 27 is actually also Rec. 709. So for the color space, it's Rec. 709, so it's really designed for that capability for video editing. We actually have Titmouse in our booth here right now, and that's actually what they're doing, is they're actually a little fun with animations right on screen using the Cintiq 27. And they use those actually in their office because it allows them for the capability of being a creative, being able to draw, but also to animate. Cool. If people want to find out more about Wacom, where, Wacom. Wacom. Where do they go to? Wacom is available. You can just go to our website at www.wacom.com. W-A-C-O-M.com. All right. Thanks again, Bill. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem at all.